Hello, I'm Bruno Rostand, Search Engineer at Salesforce and Lucene Solar Committer. Today, I will talk about Lucene Posting Format and the journey we had to write a new one. What is a posting format? It's the structure and format of the Lucene Inverted Index. It's a low-level code, a foundation. Why did we need a new posting format? It's all about the challenges of a massive number of fields at scale. So let's have an overview of our journey to solve them and share our experience. Here is the agenda. On the left, the agenda sections, and on the right, the journey map. Each agenda section corresponds to a line in the map. The white bullets on the map represent challenges and solutions, while the orange triangles represent issues and obstacles. That's a big journey, filled with challenges, issues and solutions. Let's start by putting some context and by describing the challenges. Salesforce Search is a search as a platform in a highly multi-tenant context at scale. On the right, we can have an idea of the scale. On top of that, we want to search a massive number of fields, up to 150 fields, for nearly all queries. Why? Because the documents are highly structured and diverse. We enforce dynamic field level security one user may not be authorized to search all fields. We also improve the relevancy by learning models which apply boosts per individual field. So we have challenging constraints. 2000 online shards per solar node while searching more than 150 fields. Our first approach was obviously to use the standard Lucene index. We benchmarked it with our production data shape and scale. And as anticipated, it failed. The node went quickly out of memory with a terrible research query throughput. Before explaining the details, let's look directly at the journey outcome. Given the constraints, we developed a new Lucene posting format called Uniform Split. It is designed to be simple and extensible. The base version follows the posting format API and the regular field index approach. And an extension called Share Terms makes it possible to store and access efficiently a massive number of fields. We did a performance campaign, we fixed issues and eventually, the performance and memory are good. Except for spell check fuzzy queries, we will explain that in a moment. I would like to thank both Juan Camilo Rodriguez Duran and David Smiley, who contribute to this project. Now, let's come back to the journey map to get more details. So, we have seen that we had very challenging constraints. This is the first line of the map. Then we started to investigate solutions. We needed a solution to reduce memory usage and increase query throughput. Our main challenge was to reduce memory usage, not a small issue, a serious out of memory break. Here is the structure of the Lucene Inverted Index. On the left, you can see the index layers and their order from top to bottom. On the right, the index structures corresponding to each index layer. Let's say we search the term big in the title field. The Lucene Index will get the, title, the term dictionary for the title field. Then it will seek the term big in the dictionary. 
Then, depending on the query, it will gather more data from the postings and payloads, such as the ideas of documents containing the term and the positions of the term in each document. In our context, we had a big memory issue because we have 150 fields, so 150 dictionary trees in memory. Actually, with Lucene 8, the dictionary is now kept on disk and not in memory. This is called FST or FIP. Even if it's, this may not be a memory issue anymore, it becomes a disk access issue because there are so many blocks to load for a single query with so many fields. So to solve the memory and performance issues, the idea is to swap the index layers between fields and terms. And we are, we are going to do that now. Here we swap. On the left, the terms becomes the first layer. The fields becomes the second layer. The field information is now stored per term in the index. When we seek the term big, we now look at the field information in the dictionary. This has two advantages. First, we share the terms of all fields in a single prefix tree. This is very compact compared to the 150 prefix trees we had before. Second, our use case is to search the same query in all 150 fields. This is a Lucene disjunction max query. In our example, we search the term big in three fields, title, author, and body. So now it becomes possible to seek only once the term prefix tree. We search once, but we can cache the date terms data for all fields and serve it for all other fields, doing only one index lookup. So we have the solution to swap the fields and terms layers to share terms between fields. But actually, there are various ways to implement that. We explored them. We implemented initially a virtual fields layer wrapping the Lucene standard block tree. It works, but it's a trick with limitations. We skipped other options. We even missed one. Eventually, we decided to design a new posting format, not only a specific to use case to our use case, but that could be shared to the community. So we were going to design a new posting format. This is a complex work. We had to have clear goals and focus on them. And we knew we had to pre be prepared to compromises because the existing standard posting format is highly optimized. We took the opportunity of an internship to explore possibilities. We brainstormed. And coming back to the journey map, we saw the challenges and the issues on memory and performances. We saw the investigations and the shared terms principle. Now we are going to explore the Lucene posting format API before looking at the detail of the new posting format. First, what is a posting format? It's the way we store the inverted index. In Lucene, we get the posting format from the codec. The codec is composed of multiple parts of the Lucene index, such as posting format, but also doc values format, stored field format, and others. We will focus on the posting format API only. The posting format API is a layer too. It provides both a fields consumer to write the inverted index and a fields producer to read it and search it. For a given field, the fields producer provides terms instances. 
which gives uh, access to the terms in a given field field dictionary. Let's take an example. If we search the term big in the field title, we access the field's producer and we get the terms instance cor corresponding to the field title. Then each time we need to seek or iterate through the terms of the fields, we create a stateful termsenum. Termsenum allows us to browse the index and seek the term big. We access the term prefix corresponding to the field. Then we go through the, the tree and we get the corresponding term block to look for the search term. From there, we can further access the posting format. We access the document list, position, payloads, depending on the query needs. Coming back to our new posting format, we want to swap the field inside the terms dictionary. This will be the shared terms uniform split extension. Actually, we have to design a new posting format up to terms enum, the purple part here. We can still reuse a big building block, the postings enum, which manages the postings and payloads. This is the green part here. OK, we knew which API we had to implement. Next step was to think about the design of this new posting format. So what is uniform split? It's a technique to write the inverted index. The inverted index is composed of, of blocks of terms to split the search uh, efficiently. Standard block tree builds the blocks based on the common prefixes of the terms. Uniform split builds the blocks by targeting a uniform block size, the number of terms in a block. To access those blocks, we map the blocks with an efficient and very compact data structure, the Lucin FST. We call block key the first term of each, each block, and we store the block keys in the FST. As we put uniformly the blocks, we get a minimal number of blocks, so the FST size is minimized. Actually, we don't need the full term to distinguish a term from its previous. We can take the minimal distinguishing prefix MDP instead. For the same functionality, we can store block keys MDP instead of the full term. This reduces the FST footprint. However, sometimes we can still have long block keys MDP. So there is a good chance to find a smaller MDP within the neighbor terms. Here, in the example, instead of taking five as the key of the third block, we can select the term field just before because its MDP is smaller, F. So we further optimize by selecting the local uh, optimal block keys with the shortest MDP. By looking at the FST on the left, we can see it holds less and less data. When we access a block, we scan sequentially the terms in the block. This means we can encode incrementally the terms in the block. On the right, we see the incremental encoding of the terms. This reduces the disk footprint and speeds up both the block loading and terms matching. 
and last but not least, we start by first comparing with the middle term in the block. And we jump directly there if the term we look for is after. This is like a first step of a binary search inside the block, dividing by two the number of terms we have to scan sequentially. So this is all the optimization for the uniform split principle. At that point of the journey, we had our goals and design defined. We started to implement our new posting format. We implemented a base version of uniform split with the regular index layers ordering fields first and terms second. This uniform split base was extensible, so we could continue with an extension for the shared term principle with the index layer swapped, terms first and field second. The extensibility allows other extensions, not necessarily specific to our use case. Eventually, we implemented two posting formats, one base for general purpose and low memory footprint, and an extension to support efficiently a massive number of fields, still extensible itself. About test. What about test? Implementing two new posting formats must require a huge testing effort. Actually, no. We didn't have to do much on this side. Hopefully, we could leverage the, the awesome Lucene randomized test framework. Those tests are testing a lot of corner case and extreme usage. And you can configure them to run your code. Good. We had the two implementations well tested. Then, of course, we, need to, we needed to benchmark the performance. As we can see, the performance was going to be a journey in itself. We found multiple challenges to address. Let's see the difference between being functionally complete and production ready. The first version worked all Lucene tests passed, and the shared extension also worked. We started to benchmark with a first a micro benchmarking tool. We didn't want to invest too much at this stage. This benchmarking has limitation, and it only guided us on some choices. We confirmed them in the next stages. We focused our goals on some specific queries. At this stage, we didn't have the right data volume, but the performance results were encouraging. For the next stage, we leveraged the Lucinutil benchmark, commonly used in Lucene to compare codecs. It, ben it benchmarks a wide variety of queries for various index sizes. And actually, we immediately discovered that the shared terms extension had a serious performance issues when building the index, when merging the index segment. So we customized the merge method and the performance went good. By running multiple benchmarks, we found also problems with the memory allocation and garbage, garbage collection time. We had to review the object allocations and reuse. We changed some objects to become mutable. We also reviewed the Lambda and the Java stream code that can lead to unanticipated object allocations. And finally, GC went good. Finally, we could compare uniform split with the Lucene standard block tree posting format. 
the speed for many term or phrase queries was good for uniform split. Notice how the index size impacts the relative importance of the posting format in the lookup speed. But with this benchmark, we discovered we had a serious performance issues with the spell check uh, or fuzzy queries. We, investigate, we investigated why. Actually, the investigation and fixes spanned over several months. We customized the term intersect method, which is called by queries such as prefix, wildcard, spell check, fuzzy queries. After two unsatisfying attempts, the third one gave nice improvement, available now since Lucin 8.5. However, it's still below block tree for fuzzy queries. This is the compromise we had to make. Lucene Util benchmarks a wide variety of queries, but it doesn't measure memory, GC or disk. The last step was to go to shadow experiments and real productions. The final version of uniform split in production includes an additional cache at posting format level, driven by query hints. It is adapted to our use case, queries and data shape. When we compared the performance in production, we could see impressive gains compared to the standard individual field approach. And we could see significant gain compared to the virtual field layer approach, including a very important saving on garbage collection activity. As a conclusion, what did we learn from this journey? What was the outcome? About posting formats, we learned a lot. First, there are other posting formats, not only the standard block tree. They are all with dedicated use case. There is a per field posting format to combine them. Second, you don't have to write everything from scratch. There are many existing components to reuse. Third, the Lucene test suites are extensive. The test effort is actually light, and there is also the Lucene Util benchmark. Finally, it's good to discuss early with the community to get feedback. So, there is a new posting format called Uniform Split. It's a good candidate for extension and customization. It has a shared term extension to support a massive number of fields efficiently. Uniform split is efficient for most queries, less for fuzzy query. We combined both uniform split and block tree with a per field posting format to handle fuzzy queries. That's it. Thank you.